all right so in this video we are going to create the paper outside uh, the cupcake so this is not very complicated like what i can do is we have this basic you know sweep that we had mostly i just want to branch out from here okay so the first thing is uh, i don't want any top faces and then i also want to cut it slightly shorter and then give it a taper so let's take uh, let's take a group to start with. I'll branch out from here. So I'll just alt click and I'll create a point here and we'll just call this top. And I want to select the top face, top faces, like all of these. So you can select by normal. Okay, so I can just take a top here, say keep by normal in the Y axis and just lower it. Yeah. till like just get it below 90 and it will select just the top faces and then we'll take a blast and I will delete top. Okay. So this is done. Now uh, I want to cut this slightly. Okay. So let's take a clip. Okay. So just take the clip and we'll move it up to about this height and we will say primitives below plane. So it deletes that. Okay, and then I want to take, we'll duplicate the taper. So control C, control V and just bring it down here. Yeah, another thing I want to do is I want to use a slight peak just to sort of push it out. So I can just take a peak and do 0 0.01. So it just pushes the mesh out a little bit. So what will happen is like the paper will be, you know, slightly outside. Let's go a little more. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so this is done. And now what I want to do is let's just merge this and see what we have. Okay, so I can merge this like this, this one and that one just to see. Uh, okay, let's do one thing. Let's take the peak and make it slightly lesser. So 0 .0, 0 0.02. Okay, I think 0 0.02 is good. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take the linear taper and maybe I want to adjust the capture length to not be the height of the line, but you know, slightly lesser. So what I can do is I can take a null. Let's call this size. And in the linear taper, what we can do is we can use a bounding box and just find the height of this object. Okay, after the clipping. So we'll take a B box and dot dot slash size and then D underscore Y max. So sorry, put a comma in the middle. Yeah, there you go. So now the height is 0 0.64. So if I cut it, you know, as I clip it more, you'll see like the height will keep adjusting. So if I come in here, see, so the height automatically becomes lesser. So of course we don't want it that low. So let's keep it to about there. Okay. Yeah. And then we can also, let's try one thing. Let's take a squish and we'll squish it like this. Yeah. So it gives me like a slight bit of, you know, like a shape on the outside. You can try to keep it linear or smooth, like depending on what you want. Yeah. I think this is good. Let's just try to color this. Yeah, just for fun, I'll make it blue so that if it intersects, we can see what is going on. Now, the last thing I want to do with this is I also want to give it a uh, UV mapping because eventually we'll give a texture to it. So I'm going to just keep this to a side and let's give it a UV project. So a UV project is here and just make it cylindrical and we'll do initialize. Okay. So when you initialize it, initializes to the wrong size. So don't initialize, just, you know, scale it up. So 1.7 and 1.7. Yeah. And let's keep the height to one and we can just move it up. Yeah. I think this is good. So if you want, you can like, 
You can take a UV quick shade and it will show you the UV mapping. Yeah, so there you go. This is fine. We don't need the color or actually let's keep the color. I mean, why not? Let's keep it, uh, you know, slightly pale and yeah. Okay. And now uh, let's also create a group for this. Okay. So we want to create a group for everything. Okay. So we'll create a group here and this will be cake. And then I want to create a group here. And this will be paper. So the reason I'm creating the groups is that when we eventually take it out to, uh, to LOPS, we will be able to assign materials to these groups. And I want to do one more thing, which is I want to take a wrangle and I want to create an attribute for this, which I can again use later on in LOPS to uh, randomize the coloring. Okay, so I'm going to create a float attribute called paper, which is just one for now. Okay, like the value doesn't matter right now. We'll modify the value once we come to uh, doing instancing. Yeah, so everything is good. I can just take a merge and we can merge these together. Okay, now we are getting some amount of intersection. Okay, so let's see if we can adjust that. So this might be slightly tricky. So what we can do is I can use a race op. Okay, so let's take a race op and I'll pick up this guy. Yeah, and we can take this and I can say minimum distance. So what minimum distance does is it essentially just sticks it to the geometry, but we don't want to stick it completely. Okay, like we want, I want most of it to be the way it is and only the parts that are intersecting is where it should, you know, sort of stick the geometry. So we're going to have to take the original shape and you know, this particular shape and sort of just blend it wherever it is, you know, mixing. So something like that, it's going to be a little slightly tricky. So let's do one thing. Let's take a mask from geometry. So mask from geometry is one of the new tools that allows you to generate uh, attributes based on, you know, one geometry intersecting with another geometry. So let's take this guy and then let's push this further down. And then I'll just do like an alt click here and push this in. Okay. Here again, I can just, let's do it. Let's take an alt here like that. So we can just, it looks a little more organized this way. Okay. So we do a mask from geometry and just sort of lower the radius. Yeah. Till it's just that. Okay. So this is good. Okay. So we have this, you know, which is our, you know, we'll turn off show guide. So this is sticking completely. And then we have this guy, which is just, you know, which just has the mask value on it. Now you can take an attribute warp and this should be interesting. So we'll take the original geometry and then the race op in the second input. And we're going to do a mix based on the color that we have generated. So we have a color, we'll have an attribute here called mask. So there you go. We have an attribute called mask. Okay. So basically we're going to mix position A with position B based on the mask. So we'll say wherever there is mask, show me the race op geometry and wherever there is no mask, just show me the original geometry. That's basically what we're doing. So we'll take a mix and I'll take a bind. So the bind should give me the mask. Like if I plug this into color, I should be able to see it. See, there you go. You'll just see like a black and white value. And then I want to take the original position and then we will say import point attribute. And I want to take the second input position. Like if I plug this into position, you'll see, see that that sticks basically. So this comes into point two and then I want to take the mask and plug that into BIOS. And if you've done everything right, if we plug this here into position, see, so that middle bit sticks to the cake, 
you know, and the rest of it is the way it is. So if I, and then we can give it a slight peak. So it pushes out, you know, just a little bit. So I'll do a 0 0.01 or even lesser, let's do 0 0.005. Yeah. So if you merge these together, so this doesn't intersect then. Okay, so the advantage of this is that even if I, you know, let's disconnect this temporarily, plug this in, okay. So even if I squish this a little bit more, like, you know, if I come in here and I squish this, you'll see that it won't intersect. See, it's where the minute it starts squishing, it will start sticking to the geometry. So the taper is fine. And then this much geometry tends to stick to the cake itself. See, so that is really good. And so if I just like, I can give it normals. So it's not that smooth. And we'll say 30 degrees. Yeah, there you go. See, so this much paper tends to, okay, like keep it to by vertex angle. See, so this much paper keeps sticking to the geometry. And the rest of it, like, so the minute it gets out or gets further away, it becomes normal. And then as it starts to come in closer, it starts to stick. So it's a very nice way to make sure that the paper always sticks to the cake and you still have separation you know like that's that being the whole point okay so this is good we have the cake and the paper so in the next lesson we will take a look at how to make the icing on top